Hey everyone, sorry, I'm trying to... Me and my camera, you would think I get it. Hey Julie, how you doing, hon? I see ya. You'd think I'd get this camera issue done before I even go live. I had to reschedule and rechange it because I, for some reason on YouTube, you have to when you do your, um, hey Chris, and when you have to do your video, you have to make sure you set it up in the same direction as your phone, horizontally or whatever. Otherwise, it just gives you a heck. So I had to redo everything. So sorry. So let me see if I can get on my computer and I can see what everyone's saying. So I'm not looking up at the phone. Uh, let's see what I got going on here. All right, I got three people so far. I got Kristen and Julie. I'm not feeling the best today, so I'm hoping. All right, computer, help me out here. All right. See if I can see myself here. Put myself on mute, of course. All right. Haha, -ha, I see you guys. There we go. And that view is somewhat okay. So here's my computer. You get to see me typing you guys away here. <laughs> How's everyone today? I'm not feeling the best. I'm trying to get some energy here. I think I've just been working too hard. Looks like so far we got four people. Um, I guess while I'm waiting here, I since I had to redo my settings on my phone and redo this again. Julie, you and that camping. I wish I could just take off and go camping. Um, but I just wanted to let everyone know first step here. I was going to do some new rules when it came to how people can approach when they want something here in the shop. Um, I need to, while I'm in here, I will just type it in. So then... Um, Maybe, okay, so what I was planning on doing, I didn't want to have to explain it, so I guess I'll just type it in here in your guys' little thing, um, and I could copy and paste it as I go along. So pretty much I'm writing, if you're interested in an item, please wait, sorry, I'm typing this at the same time, until I show the entire item off. Good morning, how you doing Candy? Sorry, I'm, you know, I, it's hard for me to type this all in here. Either way, so if you guys are interested in something, I'm gonna have to just repeat this over and over throughout this live video. Um, just wait till I'm done showing it first. I mean, I want it to be fair for everyone to see what I have to show um, and gives me time to explain what it is and give you a pricing. Um, and then um, when it's complete showing, I was hoping that um, if you guys could just type your name in. I know you guys could copy and paste your name in when you're wanting something, but once I'm done describing the item, the pricing of the item, just copy and paste and put your name in to see who comes up first. And by doing your name, it helps me know who is first or second or third without having to look at the entire thread. Um, so does that sound? Uh, easy to do. Uh, open for input. I just want everyone to have a fair time here and watching and getting items. Um, I just don't want anyone upset. Okay, good. I explained that good. <laughs> oh, sounds good. Well, today I have a lot of things I want to do. It's a little more organized than normal. And instead of showing little bits here and there, I had decided to make lots of an item. So each item, a lot, is going to be a gallon size baggie that's filled with a bunch of goodies. So I'm going to go through each lot. But like I said, let me have a chance to just show that lot first before someone says, hey, I want it. 
Um, not, hey, I want it, but your name. <laughs> I'll correct that. Um, what's cool about the Ziploc baggie that is a gallon size, it fits in a priority flat rate. So you would know what the, usually the pricing of a flat rate. I think the flat rate is like $6.50 now. However, if it's just all digital media, um, I think it's like $3.50 or $4.50. So it kind of gives you guys an idea. I was trying to make it a little bit more reasonable and affordable for everyone, um, if that makes sense. So I guess I'll start with the lots first. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I hope you're getting a chance to journal and do this, which I think you can if you tried. But um, so, Betty, you're in the shop. So I guess I'll, I'll say this again. Um, I have two shop rules so far. I hope it only stays the two. Um, give me a chance to describe the item, the item and the amount prior to um, giving you guys a chance to shout out, you know, that you want it. And if you do want it, Betty, just type in your famous name, Betty. <laughs> Does that make sense, Betty? Okay, so I'm going to continue on. I'm going to start with the first one. Oh, you know, another thing I wanted to do today, um, I got a ton of Bohemian fabrics. That's, as you can see, um, that's the main photo of this live video. Um, I have already put a listing. In the shop. Someone's already Etsying me right now. <laughs> I already put a listing in the shop. I have came across a ton of Bohemian fabrics. Ton. I mean, beaded, sequins, lace, embroidered, tons of silks. I mean, I have a whole lot. I mean, bends of it. So I'm deciding, because um, the Bohemian kits are pretty much all sold, all but three or four right now, um, which I don't have them listed in the shop, so I'm trying to save them for Kristen's uh, customers when she shows her, her unboxing. Um, but um, So already in the shop, though, I'm making up uh, decorative fabric bundles that are Bohemian. So it's just like the decorative fabrics you guys seen before, like the beads, the beaded, the lace, the but this is totally boho. So everyone has a chance to just get all fabrics and, and stuff like that, um, which is nice. And the same box, the box size is the, um, it's like eight by six by four. And it's gonna be like between, I think uh, eight and 10 ounces, which is a lot, uh, especially with that fabric, excuse me, doesn't weigh that whole lot. So, all right, I got 11 people in the room. Does everyone know before I get started, the, the two rules uh, before I get started, I just want everyone to understand. Um, I don't want no one upset. And as you can tell, I'm not drinking today, but a Sprite or a 7 Up or whatever you call it. I have the worst headache today. All right, yep, yep, and yep. All right. So if you guys are wanting an item, you do what after I describe it? Just saying. <laughs> I need to make it clear. What do you do if you want the item? I had it typed in, but I had to go live differently. I had to get out of the room and go back in my camera settings and all that. Me and my brain today. Yeah, thank you, Candy. You got it. <laughs> Name. That's right, Kristen. Except yours would be Kristen. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Oh, I sound like a school teacher. <laughs> all right. You think we can make this less than three hours today? I'm hoping for one. And because I think I'm going to take a nap. Um, I'm not feeling good. Okay, so I will show those fabrics, but I figured I'm sure you guys are here to see some goods first that you can get. So um, I'll start with that first, and then at the end, I will show you the fabrics. But like I said, if you guys are wanting a fabric decorative fabric bundle, it's already in the shop. I think I listed like 50 or 100 available. So they're gorgeous. Okay, I'll just grab the first bag. I have a bin already pre made bag. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven pre made Ziploc baggies. So there's plenty to go around. So hope not everyone gets all upset that they don't got one. So I have eleven pre made. Um, every one of them are going to be the same price. I'm going to be selling each Ziploc baggie filled with a ton of stuff for $12, which I think is fair because wait till you see what's in each one. So um, let's start with that. I think that should be enough um, for a while. So I'm going to grab the first bag. I have no clue what's in it, but um, let's see here. Okay, I threw one of those stampers in there. I wanted to get rid of those stampers so bad. 
Okay, so I just kind of like threw stuff in here. I am not sure all the details of what this one is. Um, but here we go. Let's try this out. So you got this pair of stamper. Let's just call this lot one. It's brand new. Um, I came across these really cool um, coin rolls, like vintage ones. Look at those. Aren't they cute? So I did four in each one. Um, a playing card. I thought that was really cool. So number four. A bingo card, a pattern, and looks like this one's cut, but it's got all the things inside there too. Um, these sticker thingies, I figured you guys like the junk journal quick stick dots. Looks like the package was open, maybe a piece was out, but it looks like there's plenty in there, those little dots. I have this really cool book of puppy dogs, the chowns, and the pages are gorgeous. There's some black and white, there's color. It's totally vintage for the dog lovers. You can kind of see. So a good mixture of black and white and, and it looks like we are, I'm sure it's like 70s or 80s. It is 1958, I'm wrong. There we go. But it's got a lot of cute dog photos in there. Then I put in one of those, uh, what do you call that? Um, it's called, a. Uh, Dear goodness, the work basket. Um, and it's the, the ads in here are gorgeous. I showed these to Kristen the other day. Um, look at there, it's a cute little envelope already right there. Totally Christmassy looking. But the pages in these books, each kit has one of these books. So everyone knows, heads up. But the ads, the uh, the ads and the um, my brain today, the advertisements and the classifieds are so cute in here. So you got recipes in this one too. Oh. Yeah, so each one's different. They got really cute women in this one too. Each one, I remember they had that too. Um, then I had um, each kit, actually each one of these little bundles have like a page like from one of those magazines. It's so cool. I, I wish I had the full magazine, but look at the back. Yeah, it's so cool. And then I came across this, I don't know why, but I thought that was really cool. Kind of see, that'd be great on a cover of some sort, I thought. But I put that in there. It comes with this book. This book's complete. Uh, looks like it's got some wear and tear on the binding. This back has like a little rip, which I'm sure we take back down. Um, but this is gorgeous. The pages in here are beautiful. Look like the inside cover. And then the illustrations and the colors are gorgeous. This one here is called The Children's, The Best in Children's Books, um, illustrated by Mark McNabb. It's the, the best in children's books. Robin Hood, Heidi Goes to Pasture, Walrus the Carpenter, How, How the Camel Got the Hump, <laughs> Mop Top, The Horse Farm, What a Good Man Does is Always Right, Hunters from the Sky. That's why I did these things in here. I figured it comes with that theme. Um, the True Book of Health, Tricks to Fool Your Friends, Let's Go to Argentina. Hey, hon, how you doing? I'm showing lot number one. Rules are, if you want something, wait till I'm done describing it, please, first. This lot I'm showing right now is going for $12. Um, it's got all kinds of duty ads and stuff. Okay, so this looks here. Kind of see the good, beautiful pictures. Nice cover. Um... Some birthday card, brand new, in the sleeve. It's like a beach theme. How you doing, Barb? A bird one. Looks like a little crinkle right there, but it's still in the sleeve with a beautiful envelope. Tickets, which are the top and bottom that could be ripped out. And some of this music page. Someone had, look at this. I don't know if you guys can see that. Isn't that cool? So a lot of good books, a lot of good pages. Um, this one's up for grabs, lot number one. Those who are ready, go ahead and start. And I'm going to put this in a Ziploc baggie. Alright, without ripping this page. Hey Libby! Alright, Libby, so obviously, I, Libby, I guess I didn't tell the rules. <laughs> um, so, Libby, if you're wanting something, like this here, like you just said, you just want this. This is an entire lot. The entire lot is for one set price and it's for $12 for everything that's in this thing. Um, and um, that, that Royal Rogers thing and all that is in this kit. So if you're wanting this kit, 
Uh, you were the first person to say uh, that you want it, but um, if you're wanting a certain kit or a certain item, you just say your name. So I can, everyone could be fair. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay, I moved on. So there's that line. I'm gonna put number one on this thing so I know it's lot number one. I was just gonna throw these in my Etsy shop as is. So um, same way I'm showing you guys. Okay, that one, I need a, a Sharpie marker. All right, here's the next one. And I'll get that ready here in a minute. All right, lot number one, done. Yep, so that's what I'm gonna be doing because the rule, I have two rules. Rule number one, give me a chance to describe exactly is in the item first. Once I'm done, I say go ahead, whoever wants what's in. Yeah, just your name. If that makes sense to you, because if you say I want it or I need it or I like it, mine, whatever, it gets confusing. So if you just say your name after I'm done describing something, the first one to say their name is the person who gets that lot. I think it'll get easier and easier as I do this every time, I think, so... All right, so Libby, Libby wants lot number one. Heads up, Libby, Libby, I wanted to give you a chance to know this too because I think you came in a little bit later. I have, I think I counted 12 lots that are like this. Um, this is lot number one. Okay. So, <laughs> yes, Libby said her name first not mistaken but Julie hang on Julie name name okay never mind I'm reading the feeds here that was earlier yeah it looks like Libby you you are first so yes so just say your name um, after I'm done describing something the first person who says their name first is who gets it okay <laughs> all right so I think I got 11 more lots each one is unique and different so it gets exciting so Libby you are wanting this so I'll put Libby and a smiley face Okay, and here's the second lot. So we're gonna call that one lot two. Wow, well, I'm making it a little bit easier here. Instead of going through all these things, do these things individually, I figured it's easier. Everyone can get a big bundle of a choice. This one's really cool. This one here, I had put together like an animal theme. Of course, I put some of those coin rolls in there as well. Um, some papers here. Um, bingo card. So I'm going to go through this is animal, insects, dog, and things like that. It's children. It's retro. It's really cool. So of course, um, you got the coin world thingies. Again, 12 bucks. Hey, Terry Kessler. Kelsey, sorry. Kessler, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so since you're here, all right, I guess I could say it again. <laughs> I'm showing off lots. I have 12 of them. One of them's already gone. This is going on lot number two. So I started two rules, which I don't have to say this over and over. The more and more I do this, but rule number one, just wait till they let me finish what I show first before you say I want it or I need it or it's mine, all that stuff. Let me show exactly what's in the lot first. And then once I'm done presenting the lot, I, I'll, I'll say, go ahead, you guys, who's first? Um, and if you do want a certain lot, the only thing you need to say is your name. So it would be Terry um, if you're wanting that item. And the first person that says their name, that's the first person I'm gonna choose. Saying your name makes it easier for me because then I have to read through and try to figure out who's saying me, me, I, I, I want, and I don't know who's first. Are we all good? <laughs> okay, so lot number two. You get the little dime, the, dime, the quarters, um, and the nickel, like vintage rolls. You get this really cool pack. All right, good, I'm glad everyone understands. I feel like I'm like redundant here. This pack of these animal cards, it's really cool. Excuse me, the entire pack. I'm putting the entire pack in this. So here's the front and here's some, okay, some are back. Look at all the animals. Aren't they cute? You get all these animals and facts and stuff like that. Um, and this here. Of course, since it's animal theme, I threw in a cat. I know a few of you guys are cat lovers. And I gotta try to get this back in here. Um, so we got a cute cat card. 
Okay, you're all good, lady. Is everything okay? Just a cat postcard. This here says, says Sunday evening service, but it's so cool. It's not animal themed, but it's just an old paper um, that they typewrite it about Sunday service. I threw it in there. Bingo card. Got those over there. And this here, a paper clip I separated. It came from a book. This is all about all kinds of animals and stuff like that. Oh, good, Libby. I'm glad you're doing good. Seems like everyone's coming down with something, but look at all these cute uh, animal pages in this. Just definitely wildlife for sure. Beautiful. There's a camping, a canoeing one piece in there as well. Um, and then I almost went like this. Then insects. There's more pages on insects, butterflies, grasshoppers, and bugs and such. I'm not sure why this is in here, but it's a card. Sorry about the glare. And it's got the envelope as well. A dog page. Stickers. This here is totally retro. It's a book, the homework chapter. And it has this really cool library card on the inside. Um, this one here too, which looks like you could take off. Looks like a lot of people check this book. The pages are beautiful. I think it was gorgeous. And that is in the a date here. It is 1966, the complete book. Here I had, because some of you guys like a children learning things, this is all about science and kids and stuff like that. Um, it's pages upon pages of it. Some more of those tickets, more of that music page. That's really cute. Someone did that all by pencil. It's really neat. Definitely, it's like someone did a ruler and did every, even the lines. So it's front and back. Beautiful handwriting. Okie doke, that lot two is ready, up for grabs, who wants it? And let you guys do that while I put this away. It's, sometimes it's so hard to come across the animal themed stuff. That's like all I've collected over the, <laughs> over the times. It's hard to find animal theme. All right, it's like I got eight people in the room. Looks like it's coming and going. All right, I'm moving on. That was animal theme. Okay, so I got another one here. All right, so this is lot three. Is everyone here? I don't know if I can see it. It seems really quiet in the room. Lot number three. This one here. Did that last one get a vintage pattern? No, that last one I could throw in a vintage pattern. I tried putting a pattern in each. Okay. All right, lot three. Of course, those money things again. Bingo things. Here's another pattern. This one comes with a really cool book again, like the work basket book. This one here has got a lot of doilies. Look at all the pieces and everything here. Thank you, Kristen. This one here has got really cute. Looks like it folded over. Um got the women pages and advertisements like the other one. It's got the tags and the really good size too. Advertisements, recipes, a lot of things you can work with. Oh, that's a cute page. Oh, all the lots, honey, are $12. Every one of these. I got another 11 more I'm showing. This is lot number three, but I got a lot more lots coming. So, $12 for every lot. There's that. That's cool or what? All right. So this here, look, it's someone paid $3.99 for that. But you got some wedding stickers. Hobby Lobby can be expensive. Um, these are like those doilies, but this is like, um, sorry the glare, guys. Um, looks like this is like, I don't know. It's like those doilies, yeah, but they're like green ones, like trees. There's, there's a lot in here, and there's all stuck here. Like little, isn't that cute? So you get those. Oh, this one here's got a pack of cards as well, playing cards. I don't think you know it's the full thing or not, but it's the um, Uno, but it's like the vintage Uno. It's like the brown edge. Being on here, you can see it's a really worn pack, which is really cool. You get a big pack here. I'm not sure if it's the 
um, the complete or what, but you get a whole bunch in here. Those tickets again, I put them in every one of them. Um, so this little whale applique, I don't know, he was kind of cute. Uh, another kitty cat, For those who know I love my kitty cats, another postcard. Um, this one here, you get another magazine cover, of course, of Roy Rogers. And there's the back, isn't that cool? You get this entire crochet book by Betty uh, Better Homes and Gardens Crochet and Knitting, and it's got some really cool, yeah, $12. Yes, $12 for every lot there. It's got a lot of really cool pages in here. A lot of very colorful. Thought about throwing these pages into Bohemian kits, but I don't know. I figured to sell the entire book. I come across this stuff all the time. It's really nice. Even just covers, colors are cute. Um, another one of these pages. Looks like this one here, though. They did the notes, but they also did the words to the notes. Someone was like a music writer of some sort back and front. Again, someone penciled that in. The lines and everything. I thought it was gorgeous. This box was just a box. I've seen you guys make some junk journals out of those boxes. So I figured, well, let's throw it in there. Maybe somebody might want it. Alright, lot number three is up for grabs. Who wants it? I'm trying to roll through these guys fast. Because you guys don't have all day. Alright, I think something dropped. Oh yeah, Mr. Whale, the whale back. Go back to you, whale. All right. Okay, moving on, lot three is going. All right. All right, here's this one. This is lot four. Okay, I'm not sure exactly what's going on here, but we'll figure it out. Oh, this one has all kinds of really cool goodies, too. Okay, so, again, you got those again. You got the bingo cards. Um, this book is really cool. I already did look it up already. Really crazy old. I think Biblio is selling it for like $35. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sorry. It's called The, the Coming of an Author. And it's got the cutest. This is leather. You guys can see that okay? And it's got all these cute little pages. No colorful illustrations or anything, but the cutest little book. I think those pages coming out into like a pocket look so cute. Perfect cute little size. All right, this here is complete. Even though it's cute on the outside, but there is, um, um, let's see here, it's like the pattern in there. It's got like the applique pattern. So I think the iron on to, uh, towels and stuff to make it look like it's uh, cross-stitched and stuff like that. So you can iron those on to your uh, whatever fabrics. It's got like all kinds in there. Um, I think there's a little booklet to tell me which kind of patterns. But anyway, it's pretty much what you see in the front there kind of thing. I put in a couple, three of these. I know someone who likes these. These are complete too. And there's some nice things on the inside too. Um, Let's look at here. Like here's the one for the inside of that one. And the pattern's on the inside. And it's folded. It's not been used. I've already looked these up. They're crazy that they ask for these things. This one here is like a doll clothes or something. Here we are. Nice envelopes and everything. Um, this one here, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, here we go. Yes, this one's cute. I totally thought of Kristen on this one. Isn't that cute? I just came across these this morning. I threw them in here. More tickets, but the book here is really cool. It's kind of fall apart, but wait till you see the pages in this thing. They're going to slowly turn them. You guys can see this. Sorry, I'm a little shaky. I'm a little shaky today. Pages are so cute in this. Look at the women and the lingerie. All right, I'm flipping through some hats. Just a lot of pretty lady pictures in this one. Just beautiful, I think. And then just the front cover and the back cover is gorgeous. And then you get another magazine here. Oh, it looks like, oh, you get these little sticker dot thingies. They're kind of like bubbly-ish. Kind of see that. The whole roll of those. 
Um, and this here is about crocheting. So it looks like it's mostly, whoop, hey, I didn't I just sell one like that just recently to you guys. There you go. All right, and then it looks like this is just some kind of like pattern page. There we go, lot number four, ready. These all will be fitting into um, a priority flat rate envelope like this. So it would be the flat rate of priority shipping. Make you guys know that. All right, so I see Barbara. It's a good one. Like I said, each one's different. Some are like, you know, depends on what you're wanting. All right, going for another one. I feel like we're getting kind of redundant. Oh, this one's got a lot of books and stuff and patterns as well. More of these things. All right, that was a lot, what, four? <laughs> I better could track my number three, four. Okay, that was lot number four. All right, so this is lot five. <laughs> Yeah. See, another good way to do it fast, too, is if you did copy and paste. So copy your name and then paste it into the, the, the thing you write. And then when you're ready to hit enter, hit enter. That's another fast way of doing it as well. Another really cool pattern. This one's complete. I don't think this is even cut. Um, yes, this one was cut. But it's beautiful. All right, someone's texting me. I'm sorry. Maybe I can see who's texting me as I'm doing this. Husband. Aw. My husband is out of the house today. So maybe that's why I'm not feeling good. I thought I would be like, woohoo, I get the home to myself and all this crap. Sorry, my language. Bleep. But I woke up this morning like, ugh. So why is it that the day that we finally have freedom that you feel like crap? Yep, yep, yep. So he's out uh, visiting the grandson, um, which is a couple of three hours away. So... Yeah, so I'm free, but I, I feel like I just want to go lay down. Okay, so I'll shut up. Same price, lot number five. I fell in love with the book. The book was just gorgeous. The size, the thickness, I think it just, the cover, it's just beautiful. Um, it is Paintings as Pastime, Winston as Churchill. Those are familiar with that, and that's obviously him. And there's some really good pages in here. There are some colorful ones in here, too. Like in the back, I think. His paintings, I think, of some sort. So, you can see that. And the words are on the other one. It's just a cute book. I mean, every bit of it. And the size is, we're at 8 inch by 5 and a half inch. And the thickness is like a, maybe a quarter of an inch. Um, you got some stickers here. They're for skiing and stuff like that. They're like um, kind of raised, like with the little sticker dots on the back, kind of like a 3D-ish. Another one of these cool books again. I threw it in there just for the heck of it. Look at that cute thing. Cute boy. It's got, of course, all the ads, the um, different like cards and things like that in there. Kind of cute little things. I had time to go through them all. Cute little rose page. Look at that coupon thingy. Ooh. I know there's some colorful ones in here too. Okay. Um, came with this here. It's Christmas Crafts Country Friends Collection. Uh, this looks like a Christmas thing. Had a bunch of like Christmassy type quotes and tags and things like that in there. And um, a cookbook it says uh, from Farms Journal. Famous country cookbooks. It's really nice size too, especially if you're using pages for your junk journals, I think. Um, I originally was gonna put them in my kits, like rip the pages, but a lot of really good recipes that you could cut in half or just use the whole page. Got some colorful illustrations in there as well. Of desserts and stuff like that. Um, Takes again. Oh, just another cat one. Postcard. Another page from uh, the uh, Oh, I don't know what that says. I'm reading upside down. But it's gorgeous on front or in back, which is awesome. Another music page as well. 
with words this time of the music lyrics. Um, and then looks like here I have um, Dr. Seuss wrapping paper. Go figure. I'm like, I have that. I'm like, throw it in there. And it comes with some tags of some sort in there. Um, all right, lot five is up and ready for grabs. All right. All right, so let's go to lot six. Ooh. Everyone's quiet. I have 15 people in here, and I know everyone just wants to see the stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, okay. As you can tell, I pretty much did the giveaways, but pretty much threw them inside here. Every one of these lots. <laughs> I'm like, I was trying to save time for everybody, you know. This one here has a stamper and it says, let's talk. It's a new, small thing. Um, another pattern. This one is new and it's uncut. So, which is a good value too, if those who like to do clothing. Comes with this book here called Growing Pains. I know this is going to be a hot item that somebody wants. Um, the pages are gorgeous in this. I just found these this morning. It's the front, that's the back, but the pages are so beautiful. Look at the totally retro children pages. This beautiful throughout. A lot of garden themed children. I don't think as much baby at all in here. It's just more, oh, there's a baby. Not much, but it's more like there's girl with a baby doll. Children playground kind of theme. Retro. Uh, Cornet. I had this for a while. Threw it in there. I know Candy wanted this once. Figured, well, maybe Candy might like a good deal having a bunch of stuff. So there's a vintage cornet, um, some space. I don't know too many space uh, junk journal themes, but I threw those in there. It's also got the raised uh, dot type things. Um, I also put in here a, uh, another one of those work basket magazines, but this one's kind of falling apart. So the pieces are kind of loose in here with all the ads and everything, um, full of ads and full of like beautiful pages and such. This here is P uh, an old Girl Scout book that kind of left some of the cover, but um, this is the complete part of the book that has all the badges. So Girl Scout badges and everything, pages, each badge, if those are familiar with Girl Scouts. I just kind of kept it together and I figured I'll just throw it in there. Um, this, like, this is a leftover pieces of a music book. It's got some music pages in there. Um, so... Those tickets, another music page. Um, also, this one doesn't have words, but gosh, someone put a lot of time into that. All right, so lot six is up for grabs. Quiet, quiet room. <laughs> okay. All right, so I got one, two, three, four, five, five more lots, and then I'm gonna go on to some books and other little things I got going on. Um, all right, I am not sure about this one, but I'll throw it all out there. Feels good to get rid of this stuff too, so kind of like throw it all in there. So this got the same, those pieces again, even the tickets, I kind of put them aside. You guys kind of got the drift on those. Um, I threw in one of those playing cards in there. Um, has some of these vintage heels pens you guys make with charms. Some heart, uh, like, uh, what do you call those? Uh, you know, you guys make your charms and stuff with. I used that stamper in there. It's got the time clap. Another one of those books here. And this one. Also same thing. It's got all the little articles and things like that. And this one here comes with a uh, Knowing Maryland, um, 28 photographs with M.E. Warren, 12 regional maps, economic facts and statistics, landmarks, locations, and sites. The book was just gorgeous. Is it blurry? 
I hope not. Maybe because I keep zooming in. So it's got maps in here. Let's make it, does it fold out? Landmarks, this one folds out. Um, some more maps, look at these maps fold out and stuff. Looks like a majority is black and white, but it's got some beautiful pages. Um, blurry, I wonder why. Wish I had answers for you guys. Some, looks like there's some beach photos and stuff in there too. It's a really nice book, I thought. Another one of those patterns. Um, and inside, looks like a, is that. I got some wedding dress uh, stickers. I wonder if I could zoom up here some. Maybe I'll lift this up so I'm not so close to you guys. Maybe that will work. Did that work better? It might be the glare from my window in the back making it look blurry. Um, some stickers. Uh, these are the uh, Stampology stickers. They're kind of like jellish. A whole pack of those. A postcard here animals. Another one of those children's books again with beautiful, it's full complete with the illustrations as well. This one here um, is, let's see here, I'm going to show you the front and back cover. That's really cool. Um, what is this one about? Oh, it looks like a, like a, Pretty much children's stories, nights, um, those kind of things. That's in there. I put a card in there. It's new. Some stickers. It's like two pack. Another one of those uh, book pages. Another card here. Looks like this one comes with a bonus card. So there's two or something in here. It's a birthday card of some sort. And the plastic sleeve. And another thing of that music paper. All right. I lose track of my lots here. So that'd be lot seven. It's available. How's the view since I've raised my camera? I hope it's better. Well, I can continue with lots or I can continue on with books, but I, I'm gonna go on to uh, lot eight. Okay, so here we go. Well, see, Betty, you could be able to craft and do this at the same time because I am pretty much just showing things really quick. This is like some kind of ceramic, like, bunny. It's flat. It's really cute. It's got these two little holes here, almost like you could tie it onto something. I'm not sure what it's for, but it was just cute. I threw them in there. Those little, these here again. Another pattern. This one here is cut. It's gorgeous. This is like some sock monkey pattern. I just thought it was cool. <laughs> this was cute. Folds out really cute too. Another one of those books here. Let's see how the back page got kind of folded over. Cute like envelopes in there. Advertisements, ads. The uh, pretty much that's it. it. Looks like someone cut a little bit of that page. I'm not sure where that went, like someone cut out a recipe or something. Um, that's in there. A little bitty golden book called Panda Bear Paint Box. Shoot, 
shoestring potatoes. What? <laughs> At least we got Betty to add some humor in this room. We kind of, kind of did. <laughs> so it's about some panda bear golden book. I am not sure what year. Approximately the 80s. Tickets. You guys seen this last time? I'm throwing them in there. I don't care. He could find Forever Home, but there's a lot of really cool comics and stuff like that along with this book. So um, I'm just going to throw them in there. Who knows? First, come get them. Another kitty cat. Another one of those pages again. We got the bingo. We got that this page here too as well. Okay, so that lot is done. All right, so lot nine. I could move on after this. I got two more. They almost seem to be kind of redundant. Woohoo! Goodness, these guys are popping out. Another good pattern. We got an, uh, looks like it's uncut pattern. I got another one of these books in there. You guys seen this one earlier, but this is a different one. This one here is a story that has no ending. Totally retro, fully complete, beautiful pages. Totally beautiful. A lot of colorful pieces. Another sock monkey pattern, you guys see nearly a cat photo, a uh, postcard. Yeah, it might be. I'm not sure why it's doing it. This here says uh, we tie the knot. It's like a wedding type sticker thing. Um, and here are some, um, uh, oh my goodness, my brain, a bride and groom pieces to make your own like different um pages. Um, I might be going really fast too. Might also affect the zoom as well. So another one of these books you guys seen, but a different one, obviously this one here has some kind of like, I don't know if this is like an iron on pattern inside here, but it has the, um, yeah, I think you iron this on. It's like, a like a parchment paper. Um, a pattern of some sort and then of course it's got the people in there I bet you it's my lighting too <laughs> okay so there you go even the classifieds are really cool in there too um, another one of these pages it's like someone had the book covers um, I wish I had the complete books but um, I, I didn't see them anywhere when I was digging um, and then a music page. So lot nine is up for grabs. <laughs> oh my God, Betty. <laughs> All right, lot nine is gone. I'm going on to, oh. We'll call this one 10. All right, same thing. You guys seen those things? This one here has got the stamper. It says dream. Kind of I kind of separated those pattern packs. Um, this here is, I put in there, this is actually pewter. Um, it is a piece that broke. Sorry, I got some marker all over me now. Um, but look at all the little charms. You could take this apart and you got the sewing charms. Can you guys see that? Is it too blurry? But it has like the needle, the scissors, the thimble, the button, um, and thread, and it's got this measuring tape. The piece in back kind of broke, but it, I thought it was cute. I just threw it in there. Pattern, of course. This one is totally uncut. Another one of those books. Mm. Mm. 
Somebody's writing me. Um, I have no clue. Sorry, guys. Um, some more bride and groom things here. I have this here. It's a dress in the package. This one says, here comes the bride. Is this here. And then I have more of the Stampology stamps here. Another one of those pages uh, for one of those pages. A postcard. Mm, I have a lot of people writing me. <laughs> Everybody but in here. Another one of those music pages. And then I put in an entire uh, Saturday evening post. Not ripped or anything. It's total complete. Um, it's large and it's got a lot of good pages, um, pieces you can cut out as. It's so funny how they put in so much liquor, uh, like ads <laughs> and everything. Um, it's just crazy. So I'm just going to put the entire thing in here and let it go as one lot. So, all right, so lot 10 is available. <clears throat> Why, man, are you getting married? <laughs> oh no, it's probably another child. You're married already. Okay, so I have this here, uh, religious. I don't really normally do religious, but their books were really cute. I put those dime things in there as well. It's a golden book, religious. Oh, her niece, okay. Um, it's beautiful. It's got nice pages and all, but um, so I put a golden book in there. Then I have this one here. It's called my favorite book. Same thing. The pages are beautiful. Totally retro, but it's not all religious. This one here has got like every day, but um, I just thought it was cute. And then this here um, is the Bible Story Library. Volume six is gorgeous. I, there's some beautiful, you lose those pages, but they got some beautiful, like, just beautiful pages in here. All right. I'm getting an idea. Okay. Thanks, Kristen. I bet you it's my... Um, I wonder if it's my, let me know if this is better. I bet you it might be my window. You guys all let me know if that works better. And let me know how that worked. All right, so that was a lot 11. I can see you, Julie. Oh, Julie, you wanted, uh, do you want a lot 11 or 10? I'm sorry, I was just so worried about the camera focus. Lot 10, okay. Sorry, honey, my brain and Trying to focus the um all right so Julie this is yours Julie you wanted the one with the uh, Saturday evening post right that is lot 10 yeah sorry Julie I missed you because uh, I see hi Julie hi Betty and it's like I get it confused that I'm seeing that and not your name sorry thank you Kristen Okay, do I have any more lots? No. Okay, so the lots are done. Woohoo! They're done. I hope you guys uh, enjoy those. Those are going to be great. And the other ones, um, I'm just going to put them in the shop and just take some pictures really quick. And um, imagine I could get away with getting those as digital media. Let me know if I'm wrong on that. I, I think is digital media only a bound books or could it be loose pages as well? 
I'm curious. I think loose pages as well, right? As long as they're bound. Okay, so the next thing, I'm gonna take a drink. Yes, thank you, Kristen, you helped me out there. Sorry guys, I'm not like the best of spirits. I'm trying to cheer up and feel good, but I'm just having one of those days um, to be a woman, you know? All right, so this next thing is a complete lot as well. I was gonna sell them individual, but um, I'm really, um, Okay, yeah, so those those uh, lots, I'm more than positive if they didn't have a stamper in them or something big like that, um, um, they would be digital media. So it'd be like 350 range uh, for shipping. But if it has other things that is not paper or bound books, it's going to go into the priority flat rate. If that makes sense. So the next thing is Disney. Disney books, um, I could have done them all together, but I figured I just was gonna make someone's day and just do one lot. Um, it would be easier and you get a better deal because you get more books instead of me selling them individually. Um, you get more books. I gave like a discount because of it. So um, in this package is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books. And I have, I think, uh, Five of them is, is golden. So I figured I, see, I like doing golden books and all, but um, I try to steer away from um, Disney because of all kinds of reasons. And I don't rip pages out of any golden books anymore, any Disney. Um, I just stay away from it. I'll let you guys do the ripping on that. <laughs> um, so in this one, there's one, two, three, looks like four golden books. We have one of those, um, two Bambies. One's a hardback that's kind of coming off a little bit, but oh well, you guys bind, bind me. You guys seen this in the last time I did it, I just threw them in there, and a Snow White. So I'll quickly go through. There is obviously my Zoom again. Sorry guys, I have no clue what's going there. But I have Alice in the Wonderland. Um, here's the back. It's like my camera just keeps zooming and zooming and zooming and zooming. One of these days I need to figure out how to take that off. Um, so here is this. You guys can get the date yourself. And the pages are adorable. So it's not, it's not crazy old and it's not crazy new. So it's really beautiful pages. I know Alice in Wonderland is really popular. Lady and the Tramp, same thing. I can flip through pages. Oh, that's the back. So it's another pink back. <clears throat> I need to quickly charge, plug in my phone so you guys can see the next book. Sorry. I need to plug my phone in or it's going to die. There we go. Um, I should have done that from the beginning, but where is my brain? <laughs> Anywho. Oh, well, Nan, just so you know, um, this is considered one lot. I'm selling this all together um, as one lot. Oh, sorry, I didn't even say the price yet. I was going to say uh, $30 for all this. 5, 10, 15, 20. Well, I'm going to say 25 only because these, these here are not like the best. I'm going to give someone a good deal today. $25 for it all, especially with Alice in Wonderland. That's awesome. So then Lady and a Tramp, Cinderella, which is complete. Um, and then, so if you're wanting something, no one's bidding or, or asking for it until I go through the entire lot first. Once I'm done showing the entire lot, then um, if you're wanting this for $25, all this, then you say your name. Don't say I want or I need because it just gets confusing for me. You guys seen this last time, I think, but I just threw it in there. I threw that one in there too. Bambi's really cute. I really like the cute little book. The binding needs a little work, but oh well. Cute pages in this one. Of course, Snow White. Really cute. 
So looks like you guys have a lot to, in this kit, you know, this bundle, you get a lot to work with if you're doing the dis. Oh, that was cute. I like that. Excuse me. Really cute pages. And then this here. Looks like someone had some pencil in here. Looks like it might have a little bit of wear and tear. Okay, so all these books for 25, who is up for grabs? Someone's saying something. That's husband. Okay, so we're moving on. Okay, so, all right, so the next thing I have is golden books, and these will go five apiece. So the first one I have is um, the, I'll go one at a time, and then you guys can do the bidding kind of thing, but it's called The Shy Little Kitten. The only thing I see, maybe a little bit of wear uh, right there, which can be taped back down. All right, Nan, you want the books? <laughs> okay. Well, this one here has got like some kind of advertisement in front. I've not seen that before. Nan, I'll put your name on it, babe. It's a good deal on the books, I think. Okay, so... The books... The, the books in that bag were as a lot. The golden books here are individual, all by themselves. The next four here are for $5. But I'm not gonna show you the other ones yet because I was gonna do one at a time so it doesn't get too confusing. All right, so this one looks like it's got an advertising in front, like a golden book advertisement, which is so cute. Here is the year. Pages are so cute. I could totally see Candy saying, I want to what? <laughs> but of course we say your name, right? <laughs> um, so the pages look beautiful. Just beautiful. Everyone, look at that. Isn't that darling? I'd say this is one of my favorites. And I only see the barcode there. Um, and then looks like the uh, tag right there. Isn't that cute? All right, this one's up for grabs. And I'm going to get a Ziploc and put the name on it. Oh. All right. All right. So the next one here is the, the scary bunny. This has a sticker that could be removed here. See the date. It's like a more garden. That'd be cute for Father's Day. Is it still blurry for you? Blurry for you guys? I'm curious. Okay, he's up for grabs. Okay, then I have the egg book. It's the date. You know, Easter's gone, but it's still cute for garden theme. Okay, thank you, Candy. So, but the pages I think are just adorable. <laughs> All right, he's up for grabs as well. Okay, and then I have Frosty. If he's not taken, then I was going to throw him in my Christmas bin for Christmas time. 
Here's the ear. So here's the pages. They all look pretty good. Here's the back. And then he's up for grabs. Okay, I am moving on. I had this next item <clears throat> is um, sold as a lot. And there are, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. So if I say a buck a piece, say $15 for it all. Um, there's silk and satin. Um, like this one here has got mushrooms. Really soft. This one here has like the, there's like lines in this. I don't know if you can see that. This one here is, sorry. Same thing, it's got, it's like almost sheer. There's this one here. And then there's this one. These are really all soft and silky. Some of them are sheer. It's this one. It's totally, woo, it was really neat. So fluffy. And there's this one. Some of these are really good. I think um, I originally thought about just ripping them for like tassels and stuff like that. Um, but I was like, you know, I might as well just sell them as a lot. This one still has its original tag. This one actually was from Kohl's. Someone spent 12 bucks on that. And it's got like purples and it's kind of see. It's a long one. Um, and there's another one of these. this one this is really rare it reminds me like a tiger or something <laughs> but it'd be I think awesome for tassels if you're gonna rip it and then there's this one's green if you can see that okay but I think what's really cool about this you can cut out the squares too in this Originally, I was thinking St. Patty's Day and things like that. Um, I just never got around to it. I have so much going on. Uh, this is really lovely. I don't know if you can see it. It's got the scrunched up and show you. It's got all kinds of flowers. This one's really big. This one's got like roses or what's the Shasta daisies or yeah, rose, Shasta daisy. This one's very, very floral. I'll just. And then this one's just, ooh, this is definitely silk. You could definitely tell when silk, the difference between silk and satin. It's like really lovely. You could kind of see that. This would be great to rip. All right, so this lot is ready up for grabs. 15 for all this lovely scarves. I should have folded all so I could do it later. <laughs> later. No wonder I'm getting black ink all over me. <clears throat> okay, so are we done with books or should I go on to like, I have big Ziploc baggies of thread and stuff like that. Um, like this, I got two of those. Um, those are up for grabs. I'm going to go ahead and I was going to say $5 for all. Look at all that thread though. You get so much thread. I think $5 is very fair. 
and um, I just have so much thread. I just kind of like threw them into like baggies kind of thing. And um, so there's some strings. There's like even some gold. Um, so I'm going to say $5 a piece for these. So I'm going to start the first person who wants it and then go from the second person. But these are now up for grabs. All right, I see Barbara. So Barbara, are you saying Barbara for the last item or are you saying Barbara for this? <sighs> oh, finally, hun, you you're not late. What are you, what are you late for? Oh, oh, I just finished with the thread. So Barbara, I'm not sure because I just now finished the thread conversation, but Okay, so, okay. All right, so Barb and then the second person I have um, is, uh, sorry guys, my brain. Um, see, Candy and Barbara, you guys' names, I'm just totally going to like <laughs> change your names. I get mixed up who's Candy, who's Barb. Um, but... Yeah, you're actually not late, honey, because there's some people who uh, bidded on things, and I had a lot of things that weren't bidded on, and I did things as lots, so you can go back in this video, and there's things that weren't taken, so um, I did them as lot numbers. I did like 12 lots, so you can always ask, Selena, is lot number blah blah available, and then I'll say yes or no, but there was... Um, uh, many lots that didn't sell, and each lot were $12 earlier. So, okay, so Candy, or is it Barbara? I see Barbara is the one who wants thread. Anyone else want thread? So, Barb, I'm not sure since you said your name, which which pack do you want? Do you want pack number one or pack number two? Oh. All right. All right, I got there for you. So yeah, hon, you're not late. Because I have, okay, so I kind of can run through this really quick and see what lots didn't sell. So you can go back later. Okay, so it looks like, does anyone else want thread? Because there's one more thread bag. Um, I'm going to go through here really quick for you guys so she knows uh, which lots did not sell. So if you go back to the video, you can see, you know, if you want. Each one of those lots, I you'll when you listen to the video, you'll know what they are. Most of them were $12 each. Um, so uh, I'll tell you which ones didn't go here in a minute. All right, so thread's going. So it looks like lot 8 didn't go. Lot 7 did not go. Um, lot four did not go. Lot nine. Right, um, a lot eleven did not go. Lot six did not go. And lot five. And what was the other one? I had some golden books that didn't go. Um, the scarf lot did not go. I had 15 scarfs. I showed off for $15. I figured a dollar scarf is pretty fair. And the animal theme, theme lot, lot number two, did not go. So there's plenty there. I know a lot of people are going to go back and see the video and they can pick something um, that did not go. A lot of people are busy today, so I totally understand. Yeah, there's no pressure. That's a cool thing about playback. You can go back later and check it out and all that. So um, I'm not too worried. They'll go. And who knows, I might just do some giveaways here towards the end. So if you stick around, I am sure some of those lots, I might just uh, give away a couple of them. Is everyone okay with that? Because 
I love to give. So I'm trying to think what to do next. I mean, I got more books. I mean, I got so many books. I might do a few more books. Um, but I would really like to share um, what I have here. Uh, okay. Oh, I got some things here I can show. And, and then I'll do a giveaway. I have this here. I was going to put in the shop. Um, these I've shown you guys a, a good while ago, but I'm, I'm now going to have a chance to put them in the shop. And I thought I'll show them one more time before I do. Um, yeah, these things here, I'll show them off. Who knows? You guys might like them. These things I was going to throw into the Etsy shop and... Um, okay, so this here, okay, I'm going to see if I'm missing out on something on a fees. Okay, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, hon. Is Betty in here? She was here earlier. I, I haven't seen her since, but, um, this here is um it's got it needs a little bit of work but it's it's like a, a leather cover it's um a vintage book that holds um postcards and there's postcards in there so here is the book here's the back and that's not indentations at all it's just part of the coloring i don't know if you can see that it's just, it's like a lighter color. It's just not indentations. The lighting's tricking you. Um, this here has a photo postcards in here. This comes, I'm selling this as a whole. It has um, inside, you can see. All right, so there's four there. What else I have? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. anymore and then some pages for more if you want to put your postcards in there but um let's see here so there's those i don't know if you guys could see that okay there's one in here it was my favorite I'm trying to think here and then um yeah since there's what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve right twelve i'm just gonna say because the book is, is pretty worn and you could use it for your other ones too. I think if anything, you could probably even use these in your journals. Um, I'm just going to say 15 for it all. If, if there's any grabbers, it's up for grabs right now. If so, I'll put a bag in it. So first come, first serve. The photos are really cool too. If you guys, uh, does anyone want me to go over the photos again? I could show the photos again. I could even bring them out if you guys want to see the backs of the photos as well. I like the cow one. That's my favorite. But there's a lot of pages in here. I mean, there's probably a good, maybe 40 pages or so. Moving on. Okay, so I do have some albums. I've shown this to you guys before in a video. I'm just going to sell them 10 bucks a piece. So first come, first serve on these. I just want to get rid of them. They are filled with all kinds of goodies. Tons of goodies in here. Somebody's old scrapbooks filled with articles, cards, um... I'm going to flip through really quick. Pages, telegrams, um, papers. Uh, let's see here. Look at nice vintage cards. Western Union cut papers in here. There's another Western Union. Um, some papers. I imagine you could get these off of here if you wanted to or somehow copy them. I'm not sure how you go about doing that, but uh, I'm just going to sell them as a whole. So here's the first one. Ooh, we even got some pictures in there too, some vintage 
Zoom, my Zoom, sorry guys. Um, some vintage photos in here. It's probably because I'm moving so fast. Vintage cars, oh that's cute. This pops out. Oh, it's like a typewriter letter. That's cute, I don't know if you see that. And it goes right back in here. Um, articles, photos, photos and stuff. I showed before, I'm sorry I'm flipping through. This is a really cool thing with a tag, it comes out. Looks like someone got flowers from the forest. Christmas tag, that's a cutie. All right, so here's the first one up for grabs. It's uh, $10, uh, ready, set, go. And Jane, uh, Nan, I got my handy and uh, post stamps here, post uh, posted notes. So I wanted to thank you. I have a video opening up your package. I need to upload it. So put the price on here. Okay. Okay. So this would be journal one. All right, so the next one is a baby book. It's really cute. I know there's like a baby photo in here too. This is the 1930s. This one here says copyright 1928. All right, looks like we got a card. Medical card, baby photo. Here is a paper on the first medical examination. And then of course you got the pages and whatever pieces are in there. So you have some documentation of the baby's growth and time. Oh, that's cute. Some music pages, lullabies and such. Okay. All right, so there is that up for grabs. Ready, set, go before I go to the next one. And then I was gonna do a couple more journals because again, like I said, I'm not feeling the best. I know, I agree. It was a beautiful journal too. I mean, and what's even really sad is that a family member would let go of such a photo. I mean, that photo is just gorgeous. It's a cute baby. The last name. Let's see here. Good question. Lois. That's the witness. Um, Marilyn G. Lack. Baby dear, baby dear, earth and heaven are near. Now for heaven is here. Um, it's baby lack, L-E-A-C-K, -L Lake Lack, Maryland. Um, she was 13 pounds, three ounces. Isn't that crazy? <sighs> I'm not sure, Candy. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's just beautiful. That was a big baby. And this mother was in labor for 12 hours. Full term, obviously. Um, taken on Sunday. It was taken on Mother's Day. Um, May 10th, 1931. Marks. She was one day old. Three months and one day old. Um, oh, oh, how cute. Okay. Footprints. <laughs> yeah, it just amazes me. It's just, she had black and brown, brown eyebrows and black eyelashes, obviously. I've never had a baby in any other color than black eyelashes. But there's a lot of pages they didn't do anything in. Um, I really like the, the music pages. Really cute. Yeah, it's sad. I'm not sure where in life that people get rid of such things. 
All right, so next thing here, I have this one here. This one is filled like crazy as well. Yeah, big, big girl. I like the front of this, the embossed with gold. It's got the green landscaping. I don't know if you can see it, the blue and the guy on a donkey. It's really gorgeous. This one here, again, 10 bucks. Look at this beautiful page. Somebody, this was in the uh, war times. It looks like they're part of some kind of scouts or something. It comes with these little, look at like the, it says here, Gary. I almost went to a Gary, Indiana um, estate cell instructor. Um, let me see if I can show these. If you guys could tell me what this goes to. It's got the wings. Got the instructor. I'm not sure what this is. Anyone? And then some kind of handmade bandana of some sort. I am not armband. But the pages in here, the person's art is beautiful. Same from the same state cell. But the the different cards in here are gorgeous. I don't know if I can get them in camera. I showed these off once before. But um, beautiful cards. Just gorgeous cards and art. Um, I'm going to flip through really quick. This is 1940s. Obviously, Germany, if I'm not mistaken. And stuff like that. Um, wartime. But it's definitely a wartime uh, journal. Um, you can see this in, in an earlier video I did um, on YouTube where I went more detailed page by page. But it's just filled. Looks like that's her father. Um, some pictures. Look at here. It's some old fabric and a button from like a dress or something. Yeah, someone heard my sale button. Um, some old pictures. Yeah, I, I've been hearing it off and on. And woohoo. Um, so art. Look at that picture on some page here. Anyways, this thing is filled. So up for grabs. Ten bucks. Anyone want it? It's going. <laughs> oh yeah so okay so oh, there's so much I want to show but I did want to share with you guys about a new find that I got um, before I leave um, those who weren't in here earlier I can tell you now um, is that um, well, you know what? I'll show these things next here but um, I came across I went to this um, you'll take the last one okay but I went to this, um, this one here. Oh, put your name down, hon. It's a beautiful one. There you go, baby. I'll put that aside for you. Um, I have been like going crazy, working very hard, which I probably that cha-ching was that. Um, on Bohemian kits. The Bohemian kits were like a hit. I sold my first 30, 31 like within the first few hours. And then Gail, uh, which I don't see she's on here, she got one of those kits and then she showed the kit. And so I saved eight additional ones for her and uh, they sold and then some. So <laughs> I had to make more. So I now have three available. I don't have it listed in my shop, but I've kept them out because Kristen is going to show a kit and I wanted her to have the opportunity to show it and get at least at least three of her people uh, an option to get that kit. Um, so, um, yeah, the cover, Melanie, is just beautiful. So I've been fretting over because everyone's been really loving bohemian fabrics, embroidery, beaded fabrics. And so I had done a lot of ordering for these, uh, the last kits so I could send them out. So I came across, you know, those who've heard me before the Goodwill outlet store where I'm always going there and I'm buying a bunch of stuff. Well, I just went there yesterday. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I went there yesterday and I'm going to show you the mess of things here, but I'm going to turn the camera. I'm going to lift it up some, but right here, I have, excuse the mess, back there is all the kits. I have come across so many beautiful fabrics here. Um, so I have just recently put a listing in my shop. I have 50 plus available, but I don't know if you guys remember my decorative fabric bundles that I just had. 
I'm gonna go through these slowly for you guys. Cause I'll get, hi, it's me. Tired, sad eyes. <laughs> but, um, so as I get you guys blurry again, sorry, it's just not my day today. Um, so what I'm doing or have going to be doing is I just put the listing up. So the decorative fabrics that I'm going to be showing you here are all going to be in these kits. And the kits is going to be filled with nothing but vintage applique, uh, the uh, beaded appliques, the um, silks. The I'm going to show you everything. and it's, it's totally bling, boho bling. Yes. So they're the same price as all my kits, 25 bucks. I think it's very fair. And these kits are going to be between 8 and 10 ounces, which is a lot. That's that's a lot of fabrics and pieces in one. And it's the same box that you guys get for your boho. Let me show you really quick. Like I'm, I'm filling the boho boxes right now. I don't know if you guys can see this. So it's pretty much the same box. I just need to zoom up here. Sorry, guys. I'm making you dizzy. Apologize. Okay, so maybe my window, I can open it now and you guys can see better. Lord have mercy. All right, we got more light. Okay, so I'm filling these boxes up. So it's the same size. It's like a eight by six by four, and it's gonna be filled. So I wanted to quickly show you. Let me know if it's blurry, guys, since I opened that window back open. I didn't want to like get you guys all dizzy. So I'm gonna go through these fabrics really quick. Let me know what you can see, but look how beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I have like hit a jackpot on fabrics, even the fabric pieces, they're the gold. I hope my lighting's not making it too. Just a lot of beautiful pieces. Here's this one. Here's this one here. Just beautiful, just gorgeous. And I'm gonna share it all with you guys. I'm gonna put them in the kits, but look how gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I feel bad that I'm cutting up such, and this is heavy. This one's heavy, if you can see that okay. But um, just tons, this is just one here. Um, a lot of different like pieces like this. The kit just recently opened in the beginning. Yeah, so I am just gonna share with everyone. 25 bucks, fill up your guys' boxes of all these pieces here um, and plenty to go around. I, I should have plenty. Um, just beautiful pieces. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? Wait to see this one. Each piece is just gorgeous. I, I can't say there's just plenty to go around. And a lot of these are silk. Thank you. This this uh, bundle is going to be a bundle of fabrics like this. I'm not doing ephemera in the next one, but these are available in my shop right now. So if you guys wanted to grab one, go for it. They're gonna be sent out like in the next week, within the week. But look at those pieces. My lighting is given no justice to the beauty of these things. And the silk is gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's kind of wrinkled, but it's got the beautiful designs. Oh, that's not it. I got so much bling. I'm a bling in and out here. Look at this. It's almost like it was like a shawl. But look how it's see-through. But the whole edging trim. All these beautiful pieces I'm going to be putting in those kits. So go ahead and get them while you can because I know they're going to be gone fast. Lots of embroidered pieces too. So there's a lot of bling. And there's a lot of embroidered. So if you guys want a kit, like I said, you can go now. It's already in the shop. You can go ahead and put it in your basket. If you need me to hold one for you, um, I have a lot of scarves that I'll be selling individually too. Look at this guy. But look at the border as well. Let me put this down so I can show you more. And I'm just skimming the top. I There's one here that I about fell over. It's this one here, I think. The, the front of it, there was a, where was that? No, but look at that. Oh my God, it's just royalty. It's like fabrics I have never seen. Um, and God must be watching out for me because every time I'm looking for something, I am blessed to get it and I'm blessed to share it. So, and you guys can have some of this. You know, it's, I'm going to be taking cuts from all these pieces. So, if I have time, I will show you. It looks like this was a piece of that one scarf that was really pretty. This was the shirt. 
yeah, so I have more of that. Um, like I said, you got some like, look at this, how pretty that is. And the, the embroidered pieces and see if you can see the little bedazzles in there too. And then the fabric. So, oh my God, wait to see the fabric. Let me see the front of this. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then the sleeves. And in the back is this beautiful peacock silk. It's just beautiful. Like a tie-dyed. It's just beautiful. So if you guys want some, you know where to find it. I already have the listing right now up in the shop. Um, this is pretty too. Yep, every kit is going to be filled up to 10 ounces um, of pieces of all this, nice size pieces. So, hey, I'm telling you, I can show you this bin. I'm barely touching what I got going on here. Um, here's what you see. I'm just going to keep going and show you. I'm going to show it off to you guys. Look at this beautiful. Yep, it's the item in my shop. I just put it in today. It's not a boho kit. This is called the boho fabric bundle. You'll see it. Look at all these pieces. I definitely will have these squares uh, cut out. So you have these beautiful pieces in there. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it affordable. And it's US, so you should be getting it fast. Uh, shipping, I think, was like $4. I think $5 the most. Oh, here's the one that was gorgeous. Oh my God, this was so beautiful. I need to take some of this down. So, look at this woven trim. I don't know if you guys can see that okay. It's totally woven. I, I guess I could rip open a section to show you. Hey, everyone, don't panic. <laughs> I'm cutting. Yeah. Okay, look at that silk. Beautiful. Um, but look at hand stitch woven. It's the back side. They hand stitched that. But it's all totally. And then this here, which is the front of this. Can you see that, guys? Shipping's gonna be four dollars and fifty cents or uh five fifteen, depending on where you live. International, if you're international. Let me know. I'll make sure I make a kit that's under eight ounces so the shipping's not that bit, you know, expensive. But look at that. It's just every bit. Look at that. I hear Etsy. Isn't it? That's those pieces. I'm not done. I'm telling you. I have so much more. Look at these dresses. They're just gorgeous. Hope my lighting's okay. I'm going to have to lift it up some for you. Isn't it pretty? Just beautiful. No, Nikki. Okay, figure someone's gonna try to be here. Look at this one. The fabric on this one's gorgeous. If you see that okay. And the front of this one, Nikki. Sorry guys about my dog. Someone's here, obviously. And then the trim on this here, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Sorry, Nixon. Here, Nick. Hang on, guys. Give me one second. Okay, so there's that piece. It's just, I am just, it's endless. I just have so much. All right, so what am I missing out here in the feeds? Uh, how much shipping will be? Yeah. So did you get what I said? Yeah, so if I do this under eight ounces, which is a lot of pieces under eight ounces, just message me on Etsy because I will just make sure it's under the eight ounce weight so then it's a lot cheaper. I think it's like, $12 probably or something being um, under that amount of weight. But um, yeah, we can work something out, hon. So here's this one. There's one that has this amazing bedazzled jewel somewhere. I just got to find it. 
I got them digging in this bin. Here's that. Just the trims are just beautiful. Oh, the scarves are just, oh my God, just endless. I have baskets of just scarves. Um, what else I have? Oh God, I just, it's just endless. I, <laughs> endless. I mean, I'm digging and digging and digging here. Let me move these down. I'll just keep going so I can show you guys. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Um, some more of this. It's beautiful embroidered pieces. I'm trying to find that one. It's got that beautiful, beautiful. This one's really bold. This one's got like a velvet, like just beautiful. Yeah, I feel bad for the international buyers. You know what? I try my best. <laughs> all that but it's kind of hard because I want to make sure you got a nice size kit you know without you know but eight ounces I could do it mind you okay here's another thought too if I set it in a box it's gonna weigh an extra two ounces but if you don't mind it not being in a fancy box I can make sure I pack yours uh, to the eight ounce marker by putting in a baggie package instead because I think a box is like two ounces so here's another hush darn it my dog I'm sorry a lot of embroidered a lot of beaded I wonder if this is the one yeah I think this is the one I was trying to tell you guys about oh my god this is gorgeous this piece is probably my favorite one only because wait till you see the top the bottom of the skirt this is kind of sheer if you can see And then this here, I'm going to go check the door. Look at that beautiful bedazzled piece on here. I got to take that off. <laughs> but yeah, it's just sewn in. But isn't that gorgeous? But the arms are sheer. And the ends are like that. It's just, was it's a beautiful piece. <laughs> All right, I got to read. I'm missing out here. My dog, I saw. I'm sorry. Um, oh, sure. So, yeah, definitely, hun. I could just put it in a package. It's save you guys, you know, give you more. But I usually put in that fancy box with some pretty tissue. Um, okay, <laughs> Melody. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, guys, I could show you really quick. I'm going to undo this and then attend to my crazy dog. But... <laughs> I don't want to show you. Here's some of the boxes I'm already trying to get through, you know, and everything. But right here, this bin. I'm sorry, I'm a little shaky. Plug. I'm going to turn this around. Okay, sorry to make you guys dizzy. After this, I'm going to go and attend to my dog. But, so, still digging, and I still haven't even shown you guys. Sorry, the bins. I still have this whole baskets of silks and satins and all this. Oh, my God. I got this huge thing just filled with sari silk and then in here I have like all kinds of different fabrics look at this gold these are like the pants they're like they remind me of the um aquaba you know like uh the men's pants you know um it's got like the baggy you know um the men's pants that are really fluffy like Arabianish. Um, some more embroidery. Look at it. And a lot of it's hand stitched. Yeah! <laughs> These are going to be in those bundles. So anything and everything you see here will be in those bundles, including some beautiful appliques that are beaded. Um, but look at that. That silk fabric yardage. Limey, for sure. Anyways. Yeah, so now you know. <laughs> And now here's my view. And I'm gonna try to get you guys back in here without making you too dizzy. Is that better? Try not to give you guys a breast shot. There you go. All right, between making it fuzzy and dizzy around. That is what I have just in that bundle. So yeah, totally Aladdin. Aren't those fabrics beautiful? It just, I came across it at the warehouse and I just was like, grab, 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 grab. I'm like, my customers are gonna love this. Um, so 
I should, Betty. <laughs> My neighbors are pretty darn close. So, but yep, I got a lot of cutting to do and I have a lot of packaging to do. Uh, like you've seen in the back is those orders going out that's already done. But um, yeah, so I can't wait to bundle those packages for you guys. I got to show you what the newest thing is and you got to see my messy room and my loud dog. If my husband was here, he would take care of this. But he's not. Anything else you guys wanna see before I go? I do have more books. Um, I haven't even hit the other boxes. I just did books for now. Um, for those who know, uh, have, do not know, how to contact me, you could, um, below there is my Etsy shop link or you can pay through PayPal. Just let me know, I'll give you the total. Um, what, however you wanna pay is my best route. So I'm there, whatever way you guys wanna do it, so. Um, I was hoping to do a long live today, but I am just not feeling good. My goal is to try to do every Saturday. Um, last Saturday, obviously I was gone with my daughter, so. So, yeah, at least I get to share some things with you guys. I feel like I'm, like, so monotone today. Bye, hon. I wish I was a little more chirpy, and um, I'd like to have done some giveaways. It's just I'm not the best today. I don't know what's going on. So, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I don't want to go. I see you guys are all talking amongst each other, and... Everyone's busy today, too, so. Betty, you could get back to your crafting. Thank you. I'm just trying. I'm not myself today. I'm sure you guys could tell. I'm just like, I'm just like so overwhelmed. Bed head. Um, I got, these are the last of the boxes, thankfully. I have these out for you guys, but I don't need to. Um, I just feel like I have so much stuff going on here. Um, I'm, I'm having fun, but yet today I just need an off day, I think. Yeah, me too, and I'm glad to share with you guys the new fabrics. I mean, hello, hon. You need to go back through, uh, Corey, and you gotta go back to the video. I was just showing off, oh my gosh, the, the fabrics, bohemian fabrics that I had. I got, now I made a mess of them. I, uh, <laughs> Oh my god. Ugh. I think what I need to do is just go take a nap and then try again. Um, but I'm excited and I can't wait to have these bundles all ready for you guys. I have a lot of cutting to do. <laughs> How you doing, Corrine, today? Usually I'm on longer, but I think I'm about ready just to call it quits. I'll talk with who, who got certain things here today. Um, so, trying. Well, I'm gonna try. So, anyone has, uh, I mean, it's like a good time. Does anyone have any, like, suggestions on what they like to see next time or what they're looking for in their craft project? So, I know to pull that bin. I've been looking for the needles, like the needle packs. I know some people have requests, but um, I have a warehouse that, not a warehouse, I would say a storage unit that's just filled with things. Um, i just been grabbing the bins out at a time and trying to find those things for you guys. Um, trying. <laughs> the Bohemian kits have gone crazy. So it's like a, my normal routine, I would be going through so much stuff, but um, I'm stuck on Bohemian. So, <laughs> but I came across this and I could not pass that up for you guys. Cause you know, those who know, it's hard getting in India fabrics, you know, without spending money. Uh, crazy amounts of money and the shipping you know takes like a couple months so yeah you are totally be surprised they're gonna, they're beautiful and I the price is perfect I mean I know I just recently about because since I did these other bohemian kits um, I had to order bohemian fabrics I was worried I was gonna be out until I got this but I spend well over 200 bucks on fabrics at um, a shop they are off of eBay if you guys need to know the name of the shop for now she's sick but um not a bad price but I mean I didn't want to have to pay so much money for little pieces and the pieces she sells are I think Kristen has shown some of the things she's purchased from her um, um it's just then when I get something like this it's like holy shoot 
<laughs> Beep. Um, it's like, gosh, I wish I didn't do that order because now I have all this and that that's coming in. I have like, oh, I think 400 pieces of appliques and strips of appliques um, that should be due Monday. So I should have plenty for you guys. <laughs> you know, it's hard. It's hard getting this stuff. And it's my job to share and do this for you. I mean, I get a good deal. You guys get an awesome deal. So it works out. <laughs> and I'm not drinking today. Maybe that's what I need. A drink. And that dog. The bee. <laughs> Anybody want a dog? <laughs> I'm giving away my dog. <laughs> going once. Going twice. <laughs> Sold to the silent bitter. <laughs> Oh my God. I swear, I think when my husband's gone, he's like so territorial. So we live in this apartment temporary until the house is built. He's like watching over me or something. He, he just thinks he's the man of the house or something. There's no one to be barking at, but he's barking. So, and he's got a muzzle on. <laughs> so he can stop barking and it's not working. Anyways. So I'm glad to spend some part of the Saturday with you guys, and some of you guys got some good deals. Um, I'll be chirpy next time, promise. So. so I hope you guys have a great weekend. Oh, happy birthday. I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> some reason, happy birthday song makes me cry. <laughs> I was up, I'm telling you. Well, happy birthday to her. Wait, Oreo cake, it's your daughter's birthday. Yes, happy birthday to your daughter. To many more. Oreo cake, that sounds good. I should order. Husband's not home. I should order out. What's that? Here's Hugh talking who... Okay, I missed that one. But I can't see who to laugh aloud. I'm not sure what that meant. I'm missing something. Oh yeah, the dog. Oh, see, I'm not thinking. Yeah, he sees nothing. He just thinks he hears something, but I'm talking. So he thinks I'm maybe talking to somebody. He thinks, oh, a dog. Yeah, I got it, Molly. I'm sorry. I was a little slow. <laughs> Nixon, buddy, enough. Enough, get over here. Hey, you, dog. Boy, over here, now. Get over here and stop you barking. Enough already. No one's here to get you. Anyways. <laughs> and he's not supposed to be in here. But um, uh, the Bohemian kits are shipped on the 1st. So that will be like, um, uh, let's say the 20. Nixon, enough, buddy. It's the 1st, May 1st. Yep. <laughs> These kits here for uh, bundles of fabrics are available now, so you can get those now in the shop. I'm just cutting them today, and I'm boxing as I go along, so. Because I get pieces from this, and I put into Bohemian kits as well, so it's like a little bit goes everywhere, so. So I'm glad to help. I'm going to go and attend to my child, my fur child, um, <laughs> figure out what his deal is. Maybe get him outside or something. It's a beautiful day. You guys all have a wonderful day, and thank you, Melody. Thank you, uh, Corrine. Thank you, Nan. Thank you, Betty. Thank you, Kristen. I'm trying to think. Candy, Barbara. Um, who else was in the house today? Cindy, um, Diane. Um, I'm missing somebody. I know I am. <laughs> I, I'm pretty well good. I'm getting better at this. Jaina. Hey, Jaina. Yes, bye to Jaina. Um, Thank you for showing up and thank you for spending time with me. Ditsy and all and the barking dog. You guys have a great day. I'm going to go take a nap now. <laughs> have a good one, guys. Bye.